My dad is a magician. He's done that my entire life. He was a clown at the very beginning, just in case you're like, how do you get into something like that? Uh, <laughs> It goes clowned in magic. There's two steps. You can take them in either order. <laughs> he was, I was born, he was a clown. It was never weird to me. I thought everybody's dad was a clown. <laughs> my uh, first memory of my life is I was five years old, and I remember my mom walked me out to the front yard, and our dad, my dad pulled up with this old red Mazda. He, he's dressed as a clown. That doesn't even phase me. That's just how he left. How else would he come home? And the Easter Bunny was in the passenger seat. That's the first thing that I remember to my life. If you want to know how you get into comedy, that's a pretty good nudge. And I remember it didn't fit, his, the Easter Bunny head didn't fit in the car. Like he couldn't sit normal. So he had his head was bent to the side. And he, I remember he had his seatbelt on, and he's just like, and I was like, <laughs> I like to think about all the other people that saw that just in the car next to him, just at a red light. You're like, I didn't even know they hung out like that. Uh, <laughs> so me and my dad, we do, he just does magic now, and he's very good at what he does. He's very funny, and we do shows together. So uh, one time we did this show, magicians have conventions where they get together and they're buy and sell tricks and they give a lecture and they do this big show. So this guy was putting one together in Des Moines, Iowa, which is the birthplace of magic, something a lot of people don't know. And it's, it's not, but it does sound like it could be. I don't know why. I said that in Des Moines and people are like, I think I already knew that. Uh, they're like, no, I, yeah, he's, no, he's right. So this guy calls me, he's like, your dad's performing this year, so we want you to come down, and we're gonna make you appear out of a magic trick. I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna surprise my dad, surprise the audience, everybody will go crazy, and then I'll do five minutes of stand-up, and that will end the show. He's like, it's gonna be like a big deal. And I was like, all right, I agreed to it. I fly to Des Moines, <clears throat> I'm hiding, I'm in my room, no one knows I'm there. The show starts, my dad's out performing, I climb in a box backstage. When my dad gets done performing, they ask him to stay and help, and they push the box out. The trick is, the guy's a very pretty lady assistant, she walks around, shows the box is empty, and then she climbs in, normally it just falls apart, and then she disappears. But now it falls apart, and it's me, and I pop out. And you have to come out big. I don't know if you've ever appeared out of a magic trick, but <laughs> if you do, yeah, you can't just be like, how you doing? You know, like, <laughs> it's gotta be a big grand, like, can you believe it? And I look at my dad, his face is so surprised, he had no idea, but his eyes are just like, why would you ever do this? And I was like, this is not a good time to visit you. Uh, the audience is clapping, but they're not going that crazy. Like, they start, the clapping starts dying down, and as I'm standing there, it's like hitting me, that I was like, I don't think they know who we are. That guy told me they did, and they don't. They don't know that's my dad. They don't know I'm a comedian. This looks like the stupidest trick they've ever seen. It doesn't make sense. Like, they're like, a pretty girl goes in, then just a whatever dude pops out. That's your trick? Your trick is backwards, sir. It's backwards. And now I gotta do comedy, but they don't know I'm a comedian, so I get a microphone. They're like, he's gonna talk to us now? How long is this trick? And when you do comedy in front of people not expecting comedy, it does not come off as comedy. <laughs> it sounds like a mean speech. They were just like, get back in the box. Where's the girl? Is she fine? Can we hear from her? 